Oh my god. You know the fear when you are so nervous about missing your alarm so you wake up a million times in the night? That's usually me. I'm always waking up because I'm nervous about missing my alarm. But I had so much confidence that I was not gonna miss my alarm. I set my first one for 6.50 in the morning. Because I was like, I wanna wake up, give myself some time to like still lay in bed before I have to get out. Oh my god, I always am so so nervous about missing my alarm. But then, as I'm waking up, I still have my eyes closed, but I know I'm awake. I'm like, oh, like I don't have to actually open my eyes and jump to my phone too quickly because I haven't heard my alarm yet. My alarm was set to weekdays and it's a Sunday, so it didn't wake me up. Anyways, I ended up sleeping nine and a half hours last night. It's now 9 a.m. And I fucked up. I fucked up. Okay, I gotta get myself ready. Got myself ready. I'm off to watch Sarah run the half marathon. <laughs> This morning was so chaotic. That was so stressful for me, especially because Sarah and I had joked about me being nervous about missing my alarm for like our Trader Joe's day, which is much less significant. We talked about it on Friday. And then sure enough, I did not wake up for my alarm because the alarm didn't go off, didn't go off. I had set it for the weekdays and that was a big fail, but I still made it. I didn't make it for the first stop, but I did make it for the middle and then the end. It was so fun getting to watch her. Also just so impressive. Like what an incredible accomplishment to run a half marathon. And I was thinking about it while I was watching waiting for like their other friends to come through. This is gonna sound kind of weird, but when I was living in LA, I don't know, I just had this realization of my life now and the people that I surround myself with, not to say anything bad about the people in LA, but knowing all these people that are running half marathons and working towards all these cool things, it's just really inspiring. When I lived in LA, I never even would have thought twice about like training for a race or anything like that, but you know, you become the people you surround yourself with and watching all of these people sign up and do this race together as like a friend group was the coolest thing and then all of their other friends that weren't running showing up to support like it was just so cool such like a community feel here and it's so nice the way that people show up for each other and it was really fun cheering on everybody running just a really great way to spend my Sunday. It's now five o'clock, so it's much later than I thought I would be getting home considering I left the house right at nine. But we went for brunch after everyone finished. Definitely had me more inspired to keep training and run the 10K in the spring with my dad. I'm definitely gonna do that. Like that is for sure a goal. As soon as the sign up is open, I'm going to be signing up. I've never signed up for anything like that, but I like having that goal and something to work towards. It just feels really good. And especially seeing it today, like, it's just so cool. Everyone cheering on the sides and everybody, like the, all these people running towards a certain goal. And it just, just, it was sick. It was very motivational and I loved it. It's on and off raining outside, which is kind of perfect for the cozy night that I have ahead of me on this lovely Sunday. I planned today to decorate for Halloween. I don't really do that, but I did that in my LA apartment if you weren't watching and I have little things. We're gonna go a little bit bigger around the house today. I ordered a bunch of stuff on Amazon. So we're gonna go all around the house and add it to our fall decor. So if you watched the last vlog, I decorated for fall and it's looking pretty cute. And today we're adding the spooky touches. Okay, we're doing a hole in the floor with my handy dandy butter knife. This one I started opening yesterday. This is one of the first things that I got. I saw this picture on Pinterest and it looked like the easiest way to add a spooky touch to everything. So we got a bunch of crows. They're actually bigger than I thought they were gonna be. For some reason I thought they were gonna be like mini crows. I mean, they're kind of cute. I'm gonna put these everywhere and it's gonna look so spooky. How many do we have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine birds that are gonna go all over the house. There's one thing specifically that I'm so excited about. Is it this? No, it's not. Oh, it's my little skeleton. He's gonna go on the console in the living room, I think. Look, oh, look at that. He's just gonna sit on it. Ha, ah, yes. Okay, this is basically like a black cobweb situation. There's a bunch in here and I'm gonna be putting them all over the place. And it's gonna be hard for the house not to look spooky, I think, once I put these everywhere. Yes. 
Okay, like these guys, I feel like if I just put them everywhere, it's gonna be giving spooky vibes. We're gonna start with that. And then we're gonna add all the other little touches. Let me show you what I got the other day at HomeSense and also Home Depot. I got a couple of things. I got this skull. I might paint this because it's kind of like a brown. We're gonna put this somewhere and see how I feel. I also got this little beaded garland, this black guy. At Home Depot, I got this candlestick holder that has a little crow and it's gonna go on the console or maybe on the coffee table, we'll see. And then we have this box. I don't know what's in here. Oh, yes. So I ordered these candlesticks that looked very spooky. One of the things that I meant to get at HomeSense the other day was candlestick holders, but there were none. I found none. Just hoping to find them cheaper versus looking on Amazon, but they're like spiraled. So at least I have this. So I can stick at least one in there. Although I do think this would look nicer with a big chunky candle. We do not have that currently. I also got all these little black pumpkins, which you might laugh at me for getting more pumpkins because I know I already have a lot of pumpkins, but the black ones are for the spooky vibes. I am ready to spookify the house, but I think I'm gonna put on my pajamas. I think I'm gonna do that first. I'm also obsessed with this jacket. Like it's the perfect light but warm coat for this temperature. It's so good. I will like get down below, but let's get out of it. I will be putting on a cozy sweat set, but I will be keeping the hat on because if you commit to wearing the hat to start the day, you can't take it off. <laughs> it wasn't that bad, but the hat's staying on. This is my happy place. Starting with the kitchen, I'm gonna do one of these on the shelves. I just think it's gonna look cool. Is it giving? Is it? Or do I do the bottom one? Maybe I try the bottom one. Okay, this is the bottom shelf. You guys can vote in the comments. Let me know if you think top or bottom was better. I can't decide. I cut another one of the cloth things and added a little touch on top and now it's balanced and it's perfect. How cute is that? I'm actually gonna have a lot of joy. Like sitting here and vlogging, like it's giving spooky. And we've only just begun. We're just about to go downstairs and then I thought, See, I was gonna do this for the picture downstairs, which I still will because I have a ton of these, but oh my God, it's gonna look right in here. Oh, that looks awesome. This is going on there. I've been thinking about this for days, waiting for this to come in. Okay, let me climb on up and not fall. Can I even do this? Well, if there's a will, there's a way. No. Okay, it's not exactly how I envisioned it, but we will have my six foot four father help next time he's over here. Ha ha. I'm not touching it. What? That's gonna be what it's gonna be for now. We'll fix it later. And I think it'd be really cool if I put a crow on there. Oh, I don't even need to be tall enough on this. Ha uh -huh. <laughs> Now for the console, I'm gonna put this all the way across. Let me just take everything off. That looks so good, okay. We're gonna add this back from Anthropology. It works, like I think it matches the aesthetic I like in normal times, but it obviously it works for Halloween times. So it looks like a little witch's cauldron. And then on that side, we got a couple of crows, we have our little skeleton, and we have our candlestick holder. So, maybe he can wave. Yes! Oh, I love him. And then I need something back there. I have my skull, I have this, I have this. This is actually, a garland for Christmas, but I will not be using it for Christmas. <gasps> I just remembered the things that I had down in the crawl space. I completely forgot. Okay, this is about to get really fun. It's also gonna be dark very soon. The darkness is gonna add though. There, hmm, but wait. These are the two things I had for Halloween last year. I had this guy and I had the bats. Actually, maybe I can take these two. I think I'm gonna swap this, move the skull down there, and put the big candles. Love this little corner. This is all looking so cute. Now for down here, maybe I'll swap this one too and put the skull. Yeah, that looks better. So here are the bats from the LA apartment. I kept them very organized and like stuck them together in the sizes that they were. That I love that these are the ones that I had in my apartment. I don't know, something about that. It feels nice. Been through different eras. I hope they're gonna be sticky enough to go back on the wall though, we'll see. I took the hat off, so it is what it is. Sticky enough, yes, okay. Obsessed, that's gonna be this wall. 
This looks so good. Imagine with the fireplace on, and I'm gonna make the lights orange once I'm done, but I love it. Like, this is really adding to the vibes, although I feel like this white pumpkin is killing the vibes. Still have some more bats, so I think I'm gonna put some in the kitchen too. Oh, there's also still more in here. Damn. Also, just thought I could put one of these in the tree. Ha <laughs> ha! Cute! Now for the coffee table. I think I'm gonna put that here. Cute. I have two more of these little cloth things. So one's gonna go in the office and I think the other in my bedroom. But I feel like this is good down here. Like, this is looking so good. It's not too much. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's subjective. This might seem insane for some people. I love this. This is like the perfect amount for me. Like imagine coming down here, putting on Halloween Town. Perfect. We're gonna do the office next and then whatever's left we will put in my room, but I'm pretty excited I am loving and I love my little skeleton guy. Hello. We're gonna start with the shelves They're fall and cute, but now they're about to be spooky So I think I'm gonna cut this into three so I can put it on all the shelves. They're actually pretty big First one there Okay And over here, in this empty space, we're putting bats. This little nook is bringing me so much joy. Oh wait, actually. And we're topping it off with a little crow. A little crow's gonna go up here. Oh! <laughs> okay, last spot we're decorating for today is my console in my room. I cut the last cloth thing in half, and this is pretty much all we're gonna do. Maybe some bats. I just like the bats. I think they add such a good touch. They're so easy, but they look so good. Cute. Actually, I don't want the crow in here. That's gonna creep me out. Actually, I'm gonna do more things. Don't mind my TikTok. We're putting the pumpkin candle on here. That is much better. We're gonna put this base there. And I'm thinking of adding the beads. Just put it on here. And last but not least, we're gonna add a couple little bats. And we're done. This is so cute. Last but not least, this one. Put like a little crow. Wonderful. And with that tiny little touch, we are done for today. Oh my goodness. This is so much joy. I do have to fix that because that's gonna bother me, but I'm so happy. I'm still not really hungry, so I think I'm gonna go for a very simple, easy little dinner. Soup dumplings. How cute really bringing the energy. I'm gonna have my dumplings. I'm gonna continue this vlog tomorrow. So I will show you all the spooky lights then. Yum. It's the next day. I'm actually about to head out with my mom. We're going to the mall. The girls are going shopping. Slash mostly I have to do a return. But I know when we're at the mall, we're probably gonna wanna bounce around. Gotta check out Zara. Haven't been there in a while. Oh, it's so sticky. It's just about one o'clock and I've been working all morning in the office. Feeling really good today. I'm just feeling very mentally secure at the moment and it feels really good to be in this place. I wish I had veggies to put on the side of this, but because I don't, we're just having chicken and I am gonna roast some veggies a little later this afternoon. Feels like a good Monday evening activity. Set myself up for a good week ahead. Hello, mother. Hello. How are ya? Left the mall. Girl math is me returning things and then buying things with the amount that I returned. So really, I didn't spend any money today. Well, I except on the other stuff that you bought from Zara. We didn't <laughs> need to pay attention to that. A little Delulu doesn't hurt anybody. Got some stuff from Babaton. I had store credit, and so I spent all my store credit plus forty dollars. So really, all the things that I bought was forty bucks instead of two sixty. And I spent that money a long time ago. So really, like. That was never my money. It's the girl math. And then I got stuff at Zara. I'll give you guys a haul when we get home. Just some sweaters, fall stuff, because it is seriously and fall. And a jacket. And a jacket, yeah. Very cute jacket. Thank you. I almost made a very bad impulsive purchase. Almost. And she was encouraging me. What? I was the one who told you to put it back. But you also were like, just get it. Yeah, uh, but then I <laughs> yes. guess, why don't you think about it? Come on, give me credit there. Oh, I'll give you credit for saying, okay, put it back and think about it. But you were like, just get it. 
<laughs> well, that would be me. Yes. This is where I get my impulsive shopping from. Yes. This one. I was raised this way. What can I do? <laughs> Comes white naturally. So it goes. Anyways, heading home now. Gotta throw some veggies in the in the oven. Are you and making soup? No, I'm making soup today. Um, oh yeah, you said you're making the pasta. I'm making the noodles, the, the ravioli. The pasta, the pasta. Oh my God, my biggest pet peeve <laughs> is the comments that are like, why do you say pasta like that? What if, what happens if you live in the UK and you don't say pasta like in America? Or anywhere. I mean, there's so many different ways that people pronounce words. And it just I know, that is the dumbest comment. Sorry, anybody <laughs> who's, who, who's made that comment. It's the biggest pet peeve for me. No offense, but offense. It's what? actually rude. It is rude. No offense, but the way you say pasta annoys me. That's so rude. It's rude. Oh, it's my biggest pet peeve. We said our piece. Even though saying your piece does nothing because people don't watch every video. That's one thing well, that I've come to learn. Well, maybe You know what? No. If only one person gets something out of it, then you're, you're ahead. <laughs> it doesn't happen all that often. No, it doesn't. Only when I talk about eating pasta. <laughs> and every time I do. <laughs> Anyways, so it goes. We're heading home. I'll give you a haul when we get it. Home, sweet home. I'm gonna have a little snacky. Got some celery and some tzatziki. The farm boy tzatziki is so good. I also saw a TikTok of somebody making the edamame dip. It's like an edamame dip from scratch. Looks very easy. I'm gonna have to try making it because that dip is so good. <laughs> okay, let's move over here and do our haul. Starting off with Babaton. I decided to get all and only basics. I wanted to use the store credit on things that I know I'll wear the shit out of, you know? Like I have certain items in my closet that I wear a ton and a lot of them are simple basics. I feel like investing in nice quality basics is the move. This one is the least basic of the basic tops. It's like this crisscross top. I just thought it was really pretty, long sleeve, thick, like gonna be great to wear through the fall and winter. I imagine myself wearing the shit out of this, like nights out, dinners, whatever. Then I got a very simple white long sleeve. This material, this is their contour material. It is some of my favorite stuff. Really nice, you don't have to wear a bra with this because it's pretty thick. And weirdly enough, I don't have a simple white long sleeve in my closet, which seems really weird and like, that can't possibly be true, but it's true. So I got one. I also have this top in their brown, which I wear a ton. So I knew that would be a good call. And then I got this bodysuit. Really just like the neckline of it. It's very simple, but you know, I wear the simple shit. And last but not least, I got a new plain white t-shirt, but most of my t-shirts are either too oversized or just like not the right fit or too cropped that I wanted a full length tea so i got this one and that is what i got then we have zara you know did i need all the things at zara probably not probably not but you know i will wear these things first we have this sweater and then lastly i got this jacket i've been looking for a kind of leather bomber jacket i got one at open fort which i just returned because i didn't think that it was necessarily worth it this one i think is cool it's a different color i don't have anything like this it's like a grayish green it might just be gray I don't know. Anyways, I'll show you what it looks like on. It's pretty oversized. What do we think? Is it too oversized? I mean, that's kind of personal preference. I don't know. I liked it in the store. Let me look in the mirror, hold on. Yeah, I feel like I like this. It's also pretty warm, so it's going to hold me through definitely the fall. Honestly, through the rest of the year, I would imagine. It's different for me, but I like it. And that's the haul. The hat is back on today because We've established what's happening with the hair underneath. I'm running tomorrow, so I'm gonna wash it after my run. So we're just gonna keep going with the hat for now. Oven's preheating. I'm going to get my veggies ready. I have broccoli and sweet potato for the week. Downstairs, they look and smell so good. Truly, one of my favorite feelings is having the fresh veggies cooked and ready to go in the fridge. Now five, which is crazy. I'm going to edit for the next couple hours and then we're gonna 
have some dinner. I'm so excited about what I'm gonna make. I've been thinking about it for like two weeks, so I'm really excited. 7.03, around an hour ago, I decided I was gonna work from the couch and it felt right. It is chilly in the house and I don't wanna turn my heat on. I prolong turning on my heat until I'm like really chilly. It's definitely pretty cold in here though. It's pretty cold. Anyways, in my head, this is like, how I make up for, you know, blasting the AC all summer long. Like I like it really cold. So in my head, I'm like, this is free air conditioning. Like I like it cold, but sometimes it gets a little too cold. Anyways, time for dinner. I'm so excited. First of all, I have so much broccoli. Sweet potatoes back here, taste delicious. We're making the pumpkin ravioli from Trader Joe's. This is the honey roasted pumpkin ravioli, thin stuffed pasta with cheesy pumpkin filling. Pasta, pasta. <laughs> Now we wait two or two and a half minutes. Okay, we're just gonna let those sit. And for the sauce, obviously, we're going with Trader Joe's. The Autumn Harvest Creamy Pasta Sauce made with pumpkin and butternut squash. I'm half tempted to water it down. Somebody commented telling me to add broth to it so that it's a soup. And you guys know how I feel about my soups. That I might do it, probably not. No, I'm just gonna go sauce. We're just gonna go sauce. You know what, while we wait, we're gonna clean up. That would be a good use of time. Also a fun competition to yourself to see how much you can get done in two minutes. I haven't tried either the sauce or the ravioli. Oh my God, this looks so good. I also decided to add some spinach just for some extra stuff. Okay, it's time to try it. I did just try a little bit of the sauce because it was on my finger and it is good. It is a fall pasta sauce. Like it's exactly what you'd want. Wait, it smells so good. Here's the pumpkin filling. Cheers. Mmm, I mean, it's delicious. It tastes like straight up fall. Mmm. Okay, well, I eat this. I'm gonna watch the reunion of Love is Blind. What a crazy season that was. I was watching the reunion last night. I watched half of it, so I'm gonna watch the other half. And then I gotta show you guys the lights and the vibes. It's perfect. This was fantastic entertainment. Loved it. Oh! The spooky vibes for the full effect. This is one of the best things I've ever done. I love this. I'm sorry, this is so cute. I'm obsessed. I think next week I'm gonna start my Halloween Town binge. Like the vibes are gonna be perfect in here for the Halloween movies, Twitches. I love this. This is the best. Anyways guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm gonna get my book, read on the couch for another hour and then crawl into bed early. Kinda wanna just like binge read my book tonight. That's the plan. So I'm gonna get lost with my book. I love you so much. Thank you for watching the vlog. If you made it to the end of the vlog, let me know in the comments what your favorite Halloween movie is. Mine for sure is the Halloween Town movies. I love them. Let me know yours down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.